It is Brianna Renee and today I decided to impulsively film a little fall haul. Basically yesterday I was stranded at the mall for a couple hours so you know I spent some money and then this morning I woke up to a package from Revolve. They gifted me some clothes so I figured why not show you guys. So first I'm going to start off with the clothes from Revolve. This isn't sponsored or anything but they did send me these so shout out to Revolve. The first thing I got is this blue turtleneck sweater dress. I love this. I think this might be my favorite thing I got from them. It's like the perfect length for me which is so hard to find. I feel like whenever I get like sweaters or t-shirts as a dress, like they're always too short for me, but this is perfect. And it's not too long. They're either too long or too short, but this is like the perfect length. It's really comfy and cozy as well. So I'm very excited about this. I've also really been loving wearing blue a lot lately. If you follow me on Instagram, you've probably noticed I've been posting in blue a lot. So I'm gonna continue to post in blue. is not something I ever thought I would pick out, but I don't know, I guess I was just feeling it that night. I got this sweater, which is definitely a little bit old lady-ish. I think it could be cute though if I wear it like with nothing underneath and then just tuck it into some high-waisted jeans or something. I think if I style it the right way, it can be cute. Maybe, hopefully. <laughs> Next, I got this yellow t-shirt sweater kind of thing. This is definitely up my alley. I'm excited about this. I love getting like solid colored shirts like this. And this is so cute for the winter. It's really soft, really cozy. This with like a yellow scrunchie and yellow sneakers with jeans. Like that's the vibe I'm picturing. Definitely gonna do some cute monochromatic looks with this. I also got this jacket, which is very fluffy and warm. It has an interesting color. It's very like aggressive and puffy, but I think it's cute. I like the color as well. I think it's quite different from all the other jackets I have. Now thinking about it, I do have a blue fluffy jacket. It's still different though. They're different vibes. This one is a more muted blue. I think it's cute and it's gonna be perfect for the fall and winter. The t-shirt I'm wearing right now is also from Revolve. It just has like this rip right here. Other than that, it's just a plain black t-shirt. And then I got these necklaces from Envy yesterday when I was stranded at the mall. If you're subscribed to my main channel, then you know I recently went to Texas and I got this while I was there. It's just from Urban Outfitters. It's my first ever bucket hat, so kind of exciting, kind of a monumental moment. But yeah, I also posted an Instagram picture in this. I think it's kind of cute. It definitely does not go with this outfit, but that's okay. <laughs> I also got this flannel while I was in Texas. I'm not a huge flannel person. I definitely used to be, but I feel like I pretty much outgrew that phase. But when I saw this, I was just drawn to it for some reason and I've been wearing it a lot. I'm actually wearing it in a video that's upcoming on my main channel. So you will see me in this, but I really, really like it. It's weird because I'm just so not a flannel person. Urban again, I got this white turtle, or is it a turtleneck or is it a mock neck? I think that's a mock neck. It's definitely on the lighter side. It's not too heavy, but it's really soft and I feel like it fits nice and it's just a nice simple piece to have. I feel like I can accessorize this and build on it and just make it look cute. <laughs> got from Urban though is definitely this red sweater. I think this is so freaking cute. I love it. There was a couple colors that I was like considering getting. Like there's a nice light blue color in this and I think there's a white as well. But I don't have a lot of red and I just felt like it was a nice color for the upcoming season. So I decided to do this and I do not regret it at all. <laughs> much at American Eagle anymore but I saw this while I was stranded at the mall and decided I really wanted to get it. It's a nice tan color and I just feel like this would be so good for layering in the fall. Like it's just so cute and so fall and I'm just picturing it with like maybe like a oh actually this black turtleneck here I think would look really really cute under it. This is from Revolve as well. I kind of forgot to show it but I have an issue with this. My head does not fit in here. Like I literally cannot physically get it on. So I don't think I'm ever actually going to be able to wear this. I don't 
really know what to do with it. I don't know whose head can fit through here. It sucks because I really wanted this. So Revolve, I really appreciate all the gifts and everything, but I don't know what to do with this one because my head literally, I, I just can't physically wear it. Do I have a big head? I feel like I don't. I feel like, I know I have like puffy cheeks. I feel like I have a big face, but I don't have a big head. No, I definitely have a small head. So I don't know whose head fits in here. But yeah, anyways, back to this. I think it's really cute. I really like the material and I like how it's like, what do you call this? It's not finished at the ends. Like it, it just has a very chill, relaxed look. So those are all the clothing items I got, but while I was stranded at the mall, I also went to Bath and Body Works and Sephora, so if you wanna see those things, keep watching. The only time I ever spend my money at Bath and Body Works is when they have some kind of deal going on, and they did. They had a buy two, get one free thing with these things, so I decided to do that. So I used to have this body spray a long time ago, A Thousand Wishes. I ran out and I really liked it, so I decided to get another one. And then I also got that in the bath and shower gel because I was running low on shower gel, so I decided, why not get this and it'll match my body spray and for the free item i got this mini leaves candle i'm not sure how i feel about this scent to be completely honest but i know people hype it up all the time like this is like the go-to bath and body works candle so i decided you know why not just try a mini version and see if i like it when it's burning because it definitely smells very fall so We'll see. And now it is time for my Sephora products. Now these, how many is this? Five things came to like $250. I don't understand why makeup is so freaking expensive, but I understand why all these companies are billion dollar businesses because they make us pay a lot for these products. Again, if you watched my Texas vlog on my main channel, you will know that my bronzer broke while I was traveling, which was really sad. So I bought a new one. And then I also picked up a Becca highlighter, which I had never tried before, but I'm excited. Based Basically, I'm pretty much only using my James Charles palette as my highlighter right now. There's some nice highlight shades in there, but I've been really liking highlighting, so I decided I should get a new one. So this is a really, really pretty, like, rosy gold color that I think will be good for my skin tone. I also picked up the Cover FX Concealer. I've been hearing really good things about this, so I decided to try it out because it is really full coverage, which I love that, so I'm excited to see if I like this. We'll see. From Fresh, I got their Rose Lip Treatment which I am obsessed with this. I currently have a mini one, but I was running really, really low on that. Well, if you watch my What's in My Backpack video, I talk about that. I carry it in my backpack all the time and it's basically like broken and running out. So decided to get a full size version because I very much needed it. And the last thing I got is this Bite lipstick in the shade Sugar Cane. And I actually posted this on my story and Bite responded to it with some emojis. So I'm hoping that I can build a relationship with them and then they'll send me lots of free products in the future. You know? Kind of a long shot, but there's a chance. I love you, Bite. And that is my little mini fall haul. It's actually not really that small, but we're gonna call it a little fall haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Be sure to follow me on Instagram, at Brianna Renee. If you're not already, subscribe to this channel and my main channel, and I will see you guys next time with a brand new video. Bye.